मोरू Vainly I had sought to borrow from my books sources of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, nameless here for never ever more. and silken said uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me filled me with fantastic terror never felt before so that now to steal the pity of my heart i stood tripping head some visitor Entering entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entering enters at my chamber door. This it is, and nothing more. Presently, my soul grew stronger, hesitating. Then, then no longer said, "Sit down," or "Madam." Truly, your forgiveness, I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. That I scared was sure I heard you here. I opened wide the door. Dark is there, and nothing more. Deep into the darkness, peering long, I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams. No mortal ever dared to dream before, but the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word they had spoken was the whispered word, "Lenore." This I whispered, and an echo. More, more back. The word Lenore. Verily, this and nothing more. Back into the chamber, turning all my soul within me, body. Soon again, I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely. Said I, surely that is something at my window. Let us let me see. Wait, let me see. Then what? What there it is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment. And this mystery explored. It is wind and 
nothing no